Hello everyone, Howard here with uh, Back in the Saddle uh, by Aerosmith. Excuse my voice, I'm uh, just getting over the flu. Um, anyway, this is a great tune and of course uh, Joe Perry plays it on a uh, six string bass, probably a Fender bass six I'm guessing. And uh, so what I've done to kind of capture that, because I don't have a six string bass and most people don't, I've got the guitar tuned down a half step so we are in E flat standard tuning. And uh, there's just one section of the bridge, three notes in the section of the bridge uh, where you can't capture that lower register, but uh, a small price to pay to play such a great tune, okay? So let's get right to it. Again, I'm in E flat tuning. And uh, here's the opening riff. Okay, so let's talk about that opening riff. These are uh, basically um, dominant seventh type shapes to me, they are anyway. Uh, you can see what it is on the tab right there, but I'm on the second fret on the D string and the third fret on the G string. And you want a bar actually at the second fret so you're capturing both the G and the D string. And you pull off from three to two. And I like to ride the A string so you can kind of uh, cruise it on one guitar and make it sound good. And then you just move that shape around, right? From the second fret to the fifth fret to the eighth fret and back. And then at the end, uh, we'll talk about what happens on the D. So you can see it's just the same shape being moved around, uh, but I like to capture that D at the end of the riff. You can also just play it. But it sounds cool if you can bring that D into it. And I do it by sliding my pinky like so. But of course you can also do it by pulling your pinky. Either fingering is perfectly fine if you want to capture that D note, otherwise you can just play it like so. And then we bust out into the main riff of course which is ultra cool and uh, I like to uh, play that with an E power chord out the chute. I think it gives it some nice uh, meat at the beginning of it. And then I just go single notes after that. And that's all downstrokes. With some necessary palm muting in the bridge, of course. And that's alternate stroking right there ending with an upstroke, which I think is really important, especially as you make your way through the riff. If you notice, all of those are alternate picked, but they all end on an upstroke. Right across the string. That's really important, I think, to pulling off the riff. Very cool riff, I love it. 
And then, of course, we move into uh, the verse where Steven Tyler comes in. Um, and there's a nice little um, syncopated thing in here as well. <laughs> that's really cool what happens on the A. If you listen to the recording, um, it kind of dials in with some of the phrasing that Steven Tyler does on the vocal. So anyway, uh, we're moving uh, from a G note on the uh, top string, the sixth string, to an A chord. Classic stuff, right? And then there's a little bit of a, uh, what I was talking about, a little syncopated rhythm in there. That's really cool if you can catch that. And then I play a um, inverted D chord right there, which is sort of classic Stones, Aerosmith, and uh, just about everybody else. Because uh, I like the way it sounds. It sounds nice and full. Like that, okay? You can also just play it like that. Seventh and ninth fret on the D string and the A string up here, which you're going to hit anyway. So if it's easier to do it that way, you can just do it that way. But I like the sound of it here. So I'm sliding from that 7 and 9th on the D and the A string down to the 5th fret, 5 and 7. And then we switch up the double stops to 4 and 5, and moving down to 3 and 2. prefer either or is perfectly fine and then of course we go back and we repeat all of that okay uh, but at the end of the second go around it moves up a whole step which is classic Aerosmith of course again <laughs> excuse my voice uh, but we move into this bit And uh, there's some variations on that that you can play. You know, these guys are always moshing it up slightly differently live. Uh, another way to play it, and I think I've seen Brad Whitford do this in some videos, is... So you can see he's taking the idea from uh, the A chord, what he did on the A chord, and moving it to the B chord. So either way is kind of cool. You can even kind of mosh them together if you want to. You get the idea, just do whatever you want with it, whatever sounds good. Uh, again, these guys are always kind of taking it someplace else live once in a while, so there you go. And then, of course, the other section that we want to cover is the uh, bridge. And this is the section I was uh, stating at the beginning, uh, where there's just three notes in this that you can't cop on a standard guitar. Again, he played it on a Fender uh, six-string bass. Uh, but the riff goes like so.
that's a really cool section as well. So um, not too much explanation is needed there. I'll just uh, put the tab up on the screen and play it slowly for you a couple of times. So there you go with uh, Back in the Saddle from Aerosmith, uh, one of my favorite Aerosmith songs from one of my favorite Aerosmith albums, Rocks. Um, see you soon. <laughs>